guys, so a couple of you on Instagram asked me to do this video and then I also got a couple of emails asking um, specifics about this particular bag. I know when I was looking online to see if I could find any reviews just so I can get a good size comparison to what I already have, I couldn't find anything so I thought I would go ahead and film it. I put it on Instagram and I did a blog post about it, but I did get a new bag for the summer. Uh, I wanted something small and then I was trying to decide whether I, I wanted the, um, oh, well here. I purchased a bag from Saint Laurent and this is their, I believe it's called, let me see, it's their black monogram toy blogger bag. Now it was between this and the chain or the wallet on chain, but I thought in the summer, if the strap, I bought a couple of off the top uh, shoulder shirts or off the shoulder shirts, not off the top, <laughs> um, off the shoulder tops, there we go. And I figured I didn't want the chain to be tugging at my, um, you know, my shoulder at all. And I also like, I just didn't want my lotion mixing into the chain and getting, like these are the things that I think about. Ridiculous, right? Um, but yeah, like I didn't want my lotion or any, like if I had some type of like body oil, I like to wear body oils during the summer. I didn't want it to ruin the chain in the bag. So I figured, let me go with something leather. And I liked this particular bag because the strap is so thin that I, can barely notice that I I can't even tell that it's on you know my shoulder uh, I personally like a crossbody bag I also don't like the bags to be too big during the summer in the summer I, I really don't if I can avoid it I will I don't like to carry purses uh, just because it's it's just too hot I can't be bothered and that's that so uh, looking online and I found this bag and I also came across, I think it's their camera bag, which is a little bit bigger than this particular bag, but I just, I fell in love with the look of it. Um, I'll show you in a minute, but okay. So it comes in the box. Anyway, <laughs> I'm all over the place today and I purchased mine off of a website, which I will link down below. Uh, it comes with the awesome authenticity card. I can't speak today, Jesus Christ. And a swatch of the leather. I think it's just regular leather. I'm not sure what type of leather, but it's a soft, smooth leather. Uh, it comes in this dust bag and uh, I will pull it out. And here is the bag itself. It is super cute. It's like the size of my face. It is so adorable. And what sold me was this pull tassel toggle thing. Uh, it had a little bit of the chain that looks, I think it's the, the chain that they use for the wallet on chain. Um, it's not super long, but I did like the chunky hardware. And this little tassel thing here it makes me think of the NARS Yachio brush. It is hilarious. Super small, it fits in the palm of my hand like this. It's beautiful. As you can see, the leather strap is super thin and it's long, which I like because I'm pretty tall. I think this on like a shorter girl, it might be too um, short, but I also saw on the website that it can be tied into a knot so you can if you don't mind doing that, of course. Um, you can tie it and just adjust it to your length. But to be this small and compact, I can fit a ton of stuff in here or just everyday essentials or pretty much just things that I, the bare minimum, and I am good to go. It also has a pocket on the back of the bag right here. Uh, I don't know what I would fit in there maybe my phone or something. I'm just scared that it might stretch the leather out. So I don't, I'd probably put some like cash or something in it, but it has the YSL um, monogram 
in the front and then I do believe it comes in like a blush pink which I was so tempted to get I almost got it but I I was scared that the the pink it would rub on my jeans on my denim so that's one thing to keep in mind and it would kind of like stain the leather and then I would be so upset uh, but I mean it's absolutely beautiful it's one of those like staple pieces it's not trendy at all to me it isn't like I would wear this all year round pretty much but um, I just think it's very summer appropriate and gorgeous so uh, I will get on with what I keep inside this thing okay so opening bag it zips open smoothly no issues I don't have to pull or tug at it and on the in the inside um, you have one, two, three, four, four card slots. So you can, you don't have to use a wallet. Uh, I still like having my card holder, but inside it has two slots on the front and the back, and you can just slip your debit or credit cards or ID right in there and you're good to go. I have a couple of my business cards in the one pocket. I think it's the front side, but that's pretty much it. Um, I have this Tom Ford compact and this is that blush duo thing but I really just I use it for the mirror obviously for touch-ups and it fits perfectly fine in there uh, what else do I have in here I have this which I don't know if I want to switch it out um, this is the Louis Vuitton uh, Damier graffiti <laughs> I can never pronounce it. Um, and this is their like coin purse or whatnot. I have just change in here and my cash lives in here. Um, it fits okay, but I feel like I have to fight to get it in because it's a little bit too long in length. Like if I had the regular like monogram um, zippy coin, whatever this thing is called, I'm not sure what it's called. I'll link it down below though. But um, for now, it'll suffice because I just don't want change floating around in here or cash. And I also have my card holder, which is uh, the YSL, um, what is this, the grain leather? Ooh, what's on there? Anyway, uh, yeah, I have my debit and credit cards on the back of this and my ID in it and some club cards in the middle, but I just like having all of my cards and things in one place. And if I literally had to just grab this, I do it all the time when I take the kids to school. I just grab this and I'm out the door. I don't even grab my purse. I have that. Then my sunglasses, which they're not Dior. They are YSL. I'm on this like YSL kick. I don't know what's wrong with me, but they're in this like Dior pouch. It's one of my old pouches, but the fact that it's in a soft pouch, they won't get scratched and I'm able to just fit them in there a little bit more comfortable than having them in a bulky, um, what do you call it, case. So yep, yeah, I just have my aviators in there as well. Most likely I would be wearing them so I wouldn't have to have them in my bag, but the weather has been shitty, so I don't need to wear them anyway. And I have a couple of beauty items, which um, I have this Byredo Gypsy Water, uh, this is their, it's not a perfume, it's an oil, a roll-on perfumed oil, which I kind of like that idea more so, I feel like it stays on longer, but you guys know I'm obsessed with Gypsy Water, so I have to have that, I had to purchase it. And then I also have um, my Glossier Bomb.com. I will never, like I can't leave the house without it. I should have it in my pocket all the time. Um, they did release some flavored ones. There's like a cherry, a rose, and a mint. I have those as well floating around in um, my bag that I take to work, my medical bag. But this uh, itself, just the plain old good one, rub it on my cuticles, rub it on dry patches, on my lips, especially when I wear lip colors like this, like these, after you eat, I, f I know some people like to leave it on 
but I have to take it off and then reapply. So um, this comes in handy when trying to, you know, get all that flaky stuff. I just can't wear, excuse me, I can't apply lipstick over top of something that I had food on or I've just eaten. It bothers me, so I'm weird. Anyway, so, and then I have my lip combo, which I'm wearing today. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Cheat, or Lip Cheat and Iconic Nude. I'm telling you, I can't talk today. And you guys know how much I love this. It's so good. New lip color that I have been dying to try is the Jeffree Star Liquid, Velour Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. It had been sold out for ages, and then he restocked uh, the site. So I went ahead and just ordered it, and I do want another one. It's called... Um, androgyny I think that's the one that I want but I have this on with the lip liner and I can just check that in the bag and that's pretty much it I can fit a couple of more things if I wanted to but I don't want to distort the shape of the bag I don't want to ruin it I also don't like it when things poke out and bulge but as you can see here's my business cards hanging out there but they're just it's so like, oh, it's like walking around with like a tiny little makeup bag with all of your crap crammed in. And um, I have an iPhone 6 and it has a case on it and it fits just fine um, for size reference. What can I, I'm trying to think and look around and see what I can find. The size of it, this tiny little notebook. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty similar, but it's not a huge bag, but it's also not like super tiny that you can only fit two things in it. Um, I'm really, really happy with it, and I'm happy that it has those card slots, and you get an extra pocket in the back. So if you wanted to slip your phone in there, I don't think it fits. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't fit. It fits like this, but... I just think it's a really good size for what it is, um, especially uh, I'm going to the city next month for my birthday, if I haven't told you guys, I think I have told you, but we're going to go, um, what do you call it, we're just going to go shopping and eating and then at night we have uh, a show to watch, we're going to go see Aladdin, so I just think it's a perfect like everyday, you know, day to night bag. I know you can't detach the leather straps, but I don't mind carrying it like this and just letting the strap hang or you can just hold it like this and that's pretty much it. So that was the contents of my little mini blogger bag. I thought that the name was so fitting or appropriate. I was like, I have to get this bag now because it's called a mini blogger bag. Um, and I'm, I'm being dead serious, like you can look it up, that's the name of it. But again, very happy with it. And I was kind of excited because I didn't really see a lot of people with it. I know a lot of people have the camera bag and they have the chain on, or the wallet on chain. And um, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of bloggers with this little mini bag. So I was pretty excited about that as well. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm getting off topic here. I hope this was helpful and this answered some of the questions that you guys were emailing me and uh, writing to me on Instagram. Um, again, if you're thinking about purchasing it or picking it up, be careful with the lighter colors. Like I said, there's a, a dusty pink, there's like a light icy blue, and then there's one that's like a snake print. And it has like gray and white uh, that kind of, uh, color scheme to it, but you know me, I am a traditional, like, black. I have to get, I had to get a black one. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!